As the mercury keeps rising, farmers in the country's driest region say they expect a drought to be declared there within days. Central Otago reached nearly 35 degrees uh, in a couple of areas today and may be even hotter uh, tomorrow. That is the forecast. Certainly our Otago South reporter Ian Telfer is in Alexandra and joins us now via live view. Hi, gosh, it looks dry behind you, Ian. My giddy aunt. How hot did it get there today? Yeah, John, they're used to dry here, aren't they? Dry and hot in summer, but this is really baking now. Uh, today in Alexandra, it made 34.5, uh, and inland, I think it was probably even hotter. Um, so the townsfolk here are struggling to keep comfortable, uh, although they're trying to, you know, be, be the positive about it. But uh, look, where it's really hurting is the farms. All this area around here uh, for, for up to 100 kilometres is extremely, extremely dry. Driving through it today, it was absolutely bone dry brown. I went to visit a farm, uh, the farm of Andrew Patterson uh, near Omakau. Now, he, he farms sheep and, and beef, and he said they are really struggling. He's a fa Fed Farmers representative, Federated Farmers, and so he's in touch with everyone around the district. He said that they have had their driest year since they began recording rainfall, they half the rainfall they normally have, uh, the driest year since 1948, and they, oh, are, no. they are just feeling it mentally, financially, physically. You drove in from Dunedin, I guess, Ian. That's where you're based, right? How widespread are the problems? Is the landscape uh, dry all the way through, just right across and heading over, of course, to Wanaka and Queenstown? Yes, it is, John. Right across this whole band, there are, of course, areas of green where irrigation has been going on, but that's also under pressure now. And what Andrew Patterson and others are saying is that they have been holding off on officially being in drought, but he says they are in drought. They've mm. been in drought since mid-December, and that it's time, and indeed, uh, it's, it's well, well nigh that they be declared uh, a drought as well. You know that there's been a drought already uh, declared for the North Island, the lower half of the North Island, and for the west coast of the South Island. But I guess now he's saying that he believes within days a drought declaration will need to be made for central Otago and uh, down into Southland, where they have uh, a lot of problems, stock issues, financial problems, and, you know, mounting uh, stress. Uh, thanks, Ian. We really appreciate it. That's farmers, and we will follow up on the drought issue um, with the powers that be tomorrow night. But just before you go, are you still there, Ian? Do we still have you on the line? No, we've lost them. But I was just going to ask kids back to school. It would be very hot in central Otago classrooms. We'll follow that one up tomorrow. If you were watching that, that landscape was as dry as an old Western movie.